Uh, Bortle here at the PAC LCS event. Oh man, uh, ran by PAC. We're over 400 players, 417 entrants. This is a huge online format. So this is of the online format. We have here first place winner. My goodness, please introduce yourself to the world, man. Uh, hey, what's up? My name is Aricado. Most of you will probably know me under the name of Astral. Uh, my real life name is Chadi Enga, and I won the PAC LCS playing Lirudas Trebrigades. Oh man, bird up. So what made you decide to play this deck for this event, man? Um, I honestly just, I honestly think this is the best deck of the format, by far. Any shoutouts before we begin? Uh, yeah, shoutouts to my team, Iman Games. Shoutouts to 100%. Uh, shoutouts to WAF. Shoutouts to Ryan Yu. Uh, shoutouts to Telbinario and his Bird Up spreadsheet, where you can possibly learn the combos. Shoutouts to all my friends. Oh god, yes, another spreadsheet. Well, without further ado, please take away with the goo, man. Alright, so for the decklist, we have clean 40 cards. I'm just going to start off with like the bird race just and explain as to why I played them. So 3 Warbler is pretty standard. I mean, this is your starter. This is one of the best cards in your deck. It just lets you start your combo and this lets you play through the most hand traps. So you always, always want to open this card. Um, going on, we have 3 Celestine Rectail plus 3 Cobalt Sparrows. Um, those are like the kind of cards which gather advantage in this deck because on Special Summon, they add like a... Spell or trap, or they add a Lyra Dust monster, well, a level one winged beast monster to your deck from your deck to your hand. Um, so those are like really good, and most of the people do not play that many of them. They play like one Wagtail or like two Wagtails, but I decided to play three of them um, because I believe that they play around hand traps like really good. And I'm also playing like a spicy called uh, called Small World, and I think that they combo really good with it. Yeah, going on, I played 3 Barrel Canary. This card is a new card. It's really, really good. It's essentially like a one card exist, and it comes up going seconds. Yeah, then I played Double Sapphire Swallow. Uh, it's just an extender for your combo, but it doesn't actually do anything alone, so I decided just to play two of it. Um, but it's pretty solid. And then for like the last Bird Engine card, I suppose, we have Bird Call. This card is absolutely broken. I think this is just the best card of the deck. This card's insane. Um, definitely three off. Nothing else to say about this. Um, then we go on to like the tri brigade part of the deck. It's like this part is more gathered around making advantage, and giving you like a better end board. We have three fractals because it's a engine card. It's a starter, since it can also send the bird cards from your deck to your graveyard, or it can obviously send like tri brigade cards, and then you can go for fairy jeet. Uh, so three back three three fractal. This card's just amazing. Um, three Nerval. This card is also just insane. Um, you can add Nerval per like multiple ways in this deck, so it's really really strong. Uh, only one Keras because like this is not a Tribrigate deck. This is a bird deck, but with a Tribrigate engine. And yeah, I don't want. I did want to play more Tribrigates, uh, just those few. But Keras is pretty good at one, since it's like an extender. Now one kit. Um, you definitely need the kit for the tri Brigade Oath that I also play in the main deck. Um, so Oath essentially is a trap card that you dump during your combo via kit, and then it lets you negate Dark Ruler or Droplets from your opponent because your end board is really, really vulnerable to it if you do not play it. So yeah, that's it for the tri Brigade engine. I guess one tanky, just to max out on Fractals. Fractals, really good. Um, then for going second cards, I played three Nibirus because I think the card is really, really strong. Um, just a really good hand trap overall. And then three Gammas because I think that Gamma is the best hand trap in the whole format. I think this card's amazing and this card also did perform amazing. <laughs> and then I kind of played uh, one Cosmic Cyclone for the mine outs. A friend of mine called Ben actually convinced me to play it. I originally wanted to play Called by over it, but yeah, I played Cosmic Cyclone because of like Mystic Mine Outs and stuff. And there, there actually were like a few striker players. I didn't face any of them, but I did kind of feel safe having this in my main deck. So it was like fine. It never came up. I never drew it, but it was there, I guess. And then for the last, um, well, five cards of the main deck, I play Apex Avion over Statue because Apex is just a negate. You do not need Statue. It's like your opponent is not able to summon monsters anyway because you have so many bounces. Statue is really bad, but Apex Avian is really nice because it's a negation for stuff like just like board breakers or like Mystic Mine evenly, etc. 
All right, so the last four cards in the main deck are three small worlds and one Dynatherium. Um, Whoa. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so while most people were like still playing the pot version with like Prosperity or Desires, a few friends of mine actually figured out that you can, well, play small worlds to like kind of add Warbler more consistently because Warbler is your best card of the deck, you know, pretty obviously. And the best target for small world is 100% Dynatherium because Dynatherium is a level 4 wind beast monster. So that means that with small world, you can go from like birds to different birds. You can go from birds to tri brigades. You can go from tri brigades to birds. You can go from tri brigades to tri brigades. You can just add anything in your deck to your hand, essentially. And it also combos with Nibiru because Nibiru is 600 def and Dynatherium is also 600 def. So, um, oh, that's <laughs> essentially. Insane. Yeah, so essentially Nibiru can add your Warbler or any card that you really want to have. You can also add Fractal. It also works. That That is just crazy, man. Um, yeah, we always knew Small World was pretty broken. That that minus one, like, got in there, right? Um, yeah, I mean, the minus one is, like, kind of annoying, especially going second. But I think it's fine. Like, I just wanted to have more consistency, and I really did not break often with this card. I think it's really, really good. Sweet, and I do like that the main deck's 40, that's, that's such a perfect ratio, and that Cosmic Cyclone, uh, the cool thing is that it really works out like for Artifact Scythe as well. Uh, would you like to run down the extra deck? Yeah, for sure. From the extra deck, we have like the kind of Lyrilus Xyz monsters, we have Double Recital Starling. Um, a lot of people play 3 of this card, um, and I do think that 3 is really good, but I just couldn't really find space for it. And it never really came up. Like, the third recital starting is nice to have, but it doesn't really come up that often. So I played two, and it was pretty good. It was pretty fine, too. Really good card. Uh, just lets you add a winged beast from a deck to your hand, not once per turn. This card's, well, like, soft once per turn, I suppose. This card's really, really broken. Um, and also, it, it, like, enables the funniest OTKs, since its third effect is, like, really, really relevant, where actually both you and your opponent take battle damage from, like, battles involving this card. It's, like, pretty, pretty nice. Then we just have the new card, the Lyrilusk Assembled Robin. Um, this card's absolutely insane. It's a non-once-per-turn bounce when your opponent special summons a monster. Um, and an add back from your graveyard when it dies. Um, this card's absolutely insane. We have one Assembled Nightingale, which actually causes, like... Like, this deck OTK is in such funny ways by either, like, crashing your monsters into your opponent or uh, by making a really, really big Nightingale. So essentially, in, like, top 16, or against when I played against Triff in Swiss, what I did was that I just summoned, like, five bird monsters, and I just exceed summoned all of them into Nightingale, and I made Nightingale have, like, seven materials, and I just, like, attacked seven times directly for, like, 1,600. And that's just a game. So much for like the Lyra that's these monsters. Then we have like a Zeus package, pretty standard. Uh, Downward is just absolutely needed. You cannot play this deck with Downward, it's super needed. Um, F Zero package, that's also pretty standard in this deck. Don't really have to talk about it. It's really, really good. Um, the small Utopia, which like uh, steals a monster from your opponent, actually came up like once or twice. It's pretty, pretty neat. Then for the Link monsters, we have Almirage. This card is like. Just enables combo with like Warbler or Kit sometimes. It's pretty good. Um, I think you kind of have to play it if you do not want to break. Like it's just, it kind of solves consistency issues with the deck. So it's pretty nice. Um, one DDL, that's standard. One Fair Jet. I wanted to play two, but I didn't find space. Uh, the Simorg, that card is absolutely broken. Then the Appalooza, I think Appalooza is correct in this deck. Appalooza was really, really good during the tournament. It won me a few games. And what's also like really cool about Appalooza in this deck is that Recital Starling has the effect to like boost a monster when it's summoned. So you can actually boost your Appalooza and then have like a four material Appalooza, though you only like use three monsters. So it's pretty, pretty neat. And then I have double Shurik. Um, the second Shurik actually came up a lot. It like won me a couple of games. I think two Shurik is really good in this deck. Yeah, that's it for the extra deck. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Love the explanations. And um, this side deck, it looks uh, like kind of like somewhat uh, generic, but um, you have some really uh, really popular card for this uh, for the bird deck, man. Would you like to just run the side deck? Yeah, sure. Um, in the side deck, we have three Twin Twisters, which I'm not too sure about if you should play them because Cosmic Cyclone, as you already mentioned, kind of stops Scythe. These maybe should have been Cosmic Cyclones in hindsight, but I just played Twin because of back row removal. Like, 
those were pretty nice because I played against a decent amount of back row hate. I, I played against a decent amount of back row, so I needed some hate against it. Um, three draws, this is pretty standard against Drytron, Mirror Match, etc. Uh, three tactics, just for going first, I mean, it's a really good card. Three droplets, this is like, doesn't really need a lot of explanation, it's just a board breaker. And then uh, three hard piece Featherstorm, this card is absolutely stupid. I do not know why this card exists, and it's an as a thought for your opponent, and they just cannot play. Uh, what are your thoughts on Trap Trick, which is uh, essentially another copy of Harpy's Featherstorm? Um, a friend of mine tried it out, and I do not think that it's bad, but I prefer Talons over that many Featherstorms, because like, at the point where you open two Featherstorms, it's getting kind of weird to combo sometimes. So Talons can like potentially still draw cards or like look at your opponent's hand. So I kind of prefer Talons over that. All right, sweet. Thank you for all the uh, explanation. It was perfect, man. Any final thoughts about your event experience? The event experience was really cool. I loved playing a big event. Like again, we had like a really, really big break from like LCSs. Um, this was a lot of fun and I did really well. I misplayed like a couple of times, but I think it happens in like a nine round event. We had like nine rounds of Swiss and then top 16. I think overall the deck was amazing. It was super, super sweet, super good. Um, loved it and yeah thanks for having me on the channel yeah no problem and again congrats on winning this newest lcs uh thank you very much yeah and listeners if you're not a part of Bortle nation sub for Bortle, it's that easy and it's free oh god yes Bortle out